What's up, everybody? I am that role playing ginger, and we are back with more Pathfinder Rats of the Righteous. We finished off in that area, which took us a long time because there was way too much stuff down there. Um, found a whole underground lake and everything. And then we came back to camp, we realized the camp was actually moved. Now, I should go talk to Nira, Nira Denduar, in her tent. And Socio, I should check out on both of them. But. I got other places I want to go to. We got an inconspicuous camp right here that needs exploring. And I know I haven't done the army stuff in a while. It's because the army stuff right now isn't as fun as I was hoping it would be. There's not there's not a lot of like being able to customize the army yet. I feel like once the army does get Hello, Grinnick. Are you a kobold? The aged kobold is sitting by the camp small campfire, greets you with an amicable gesture. He doesn't reach for his weapon or hiss threateningly. All in all, his behavior is highly unusual for one of his kind. His clothes look quite unusual too. Not many kobolds op opt for human clothing, nor do they adorn their possessions with spikes or scales. Greetings! My name is Krynuk. I am alone here, so you may safely come closer. Kobolds are a rather courteous lot, it would seem. I never expected to receive an invitation to dinner from one of your kind, as a guest rather than a dish, that is. I didn't exactly invite you, Count. My invitation was addressed to the Commander. But sit down, help yourself. Beyond the walls of your fancy mansions, you'll find surprises far more unusual than my humble self. Um, cool. Was it you that left me the note? The Kobold shrugs. Of course! Who else could it be? I wanted to make sure you were interested in the information I can provide. Uh, who are you? As I've already mentioned, my name is Krenak, at your service. I am a traveler and a friend to the Crusade. I can be your friend too, if you are tolerant towards kobolds. I am, of course, of course I'm tolerant towards kobolds. He utters the word tolerant with shocking ease, as if he is something other than an arrow-minded and savage subterranean beast you'd expect him to be. I don't expect kobolds to be that. Kobolds are cute. Um, eh, infamous forged and dragons. The crusade has many unusual friends, but even I haven't met anyone like you before. I'll be glad to see a kobold in our ranks. Oh, Sila. No, oh, no, don't get me wrong. I have no intention of marching within the crusader ranks. Still, I hope that my humble assistance will be of use to you. Tolerant. Are you sure you're a kobold? Ah, so you saw through my disguise. Krynuk, Krynuk mis- I thought that was the end of this quote. Krynuk tried to mislead you with a sweet words, and then ambush you. The kobold utters a loud hiss and then morphs into an amused chuckle. Of course I'm a kobold. Trust me, you're not the first to be shocked after hearing me speak and realizing that I'm not going to rob or kill you. I'm lucky. Yeah, it rep if representatives of other races want to be seen as intellectuals or decent conversationalists, they have to read a lot of books, refine their manners, possess a passing knowledge of classical theater, and douse themselves in fine perfume. Whereas in my case, all I have to do is not lunge at you with a spear or hiss every other word. I like this guy. I want him to be at my party. Um... Not at the bonfire? What are you cooking? Judging by its ears and hind legs, uh, it's a hare. Or maybe it's a tiger. Depends on your point of view, I suppose. Don't try to be cute, Cobalt. It doesn't suit you. Hey, you be quiet. You hush. That is a cute little being, and you need to stop. You ninny, I'm as charming as they come. You are absolutely charming, Krynuk. Now, uh, what do you want from me? I want nothing from you. I'm asking for nothing. I'm simply offering help. I sympathize with your cause, so I would like to provide whatever support I can from time to time. Does that work for you? Ah, uh, what's the catch? No catch. I'm acting for wholly altruistic reasons, but my motives are something I would rather not reveal. He turns his face to you and wrinkles, and his wrinkles become more visible in the glow of the fires. We just met five minutes ago. Don't you think it's a little too early to expect complete candor just yet? As I've already told you, I am a friend of the Crusade. You can trust, choose to trust me, or you can leave. 
Um, I don't, I don't even care how he helps. I want him on party. I'm gonna say, yeah, we want the help. He nods agreeably. Then we have a deal. You won't regret your decision. Just drop by my camp every now and then and we can have a word. Perhaps I'll even be able to give you some useful tips. Pulling out a small knife, the traveler carefully cuts two strips of meat off the roasted hair. He throws one into his toothy maw while graciously offering the other to you. A strange animal for sure, but it seems edible. The energies of the world wound mask everything in this illusion. Harmless-looking creatures try to eat you for dinner, dangerous paths appear to be straight roads, and your enemies... Sometimes your enemies can look like your friends. Krynok squints and looks deeply into your eyes. Aww. Those who have lost the way must be saved. Oh. Have you ever been in a situation like this? First you think a person is your friend and ally, then... But then the scales fall from your eyes, and you realize they are actually your sworn enemy. So you'll catch this person, you tie them up, and then you start thinking, How should I treat them now? Like your enemy? Like your former friend? It's hard to decide. What would you do if one of your friends turned out to be a traitor? Are you talking about someone specific? Wow, your rest, your question reeks of paranoia. No, I'm not talking about anyone specific, and I'm not implicating anyone. Sorry, it seems my joke has spoiled your sleep for the next few nights. Um, I would try to find out what the what would force the traitor to reveal the truth about their real masters, then do whatever that is. Um, I would torture the traitor. No, every traitor must die. Hell no. Um, there are no spies amongst the Crusaders. I don't believe that for a fact because I've ran the books. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go with good. Did some cleric tell you that? And have you ever seen one of those who's returned from the, to the path of righteousness? Stop listening to others and use your head. We're not talking about children here. The decision to collaborate with demons is a little different from yanking on the family cat's tail. To make such a decision, a person would have to be truly vile scumbag. Oh, just where do you people get this beautiful naivete from? Something in his voice sounds merciless like cold steel. If you catch a Kraya traitor, grab them and shake them till they spill everything they know. Some need to be tortured. Others will crack if you threaten their family or bribe them with promises of mercy and gold. Ring the traitor dry like a rag mop and think about war, not about ethics. At least that's what smart people write in books. The fervor fades from the kobold's voice, but a subtle glint still flickers in his eye. Um... You really got worked up there. Who, me? Not at all. You say that like you're an expert on kobolds, as if you can intuit our deepest feelings and emotions. Um, I'm not convinced. He shrugs. Was I trying to convince you? I was just stating my opinion. Then again, if we're discussing traitors, it's fortunate that betrayal has not reserved for mortals alone. Demons stab each other in the back far more frequently. The rumor is that there are at least two demon stashes within Dresden, filled with arms and supplies that were stolen by Descarates and Baphomites, and vice versa. One of them is near the entrance to the fortress, while the other one lies by the entrance to the citadel. That is valuable information. Of course it is. I wouldn't waste your time. Cracking his knuckles. Hold on, I can do that. Ah, wonderful. Kronach gives you an inquisitive look. I hope that when the time comes for you to make real decisions instead of hypothetical ones, your wisdom won't fail you. Just one bad choice can turn a revered leader into a disgraced pariah. I've seen it happen before. I lived through something like that. My tribe suffered a disaster caused by just one bad choice. Can you even imagine? The kobold squints sadly, his shoulders slumping a bit. With a sigh, he begins to talk. I don't like telling the story, but it might be useful for you to know it. Perhaps it will serve as a warning. Uh, sure. Will you tell me? He clears his throat and starts talking in a sonorous voice that reveals his experience as a bard. I was born into the mighty and proud tribe of the Knight Ruby. Ooh, that's an amazing name. Our caves are vast, our mine shafts were rich in quartz and metals, and our underground lakes were brimming with fish. And of course we had plenty of slaves. 
the Knight Ruby was a model of Kobold success. It was a tight-knit, greedy, and excessive, aggressive dry, tribe that intimidated even a few of the nearby human settlements. But there was a flaw underlying our power. Once long ago, a leader of our tribe signed a pact with the devils by promising them the soul of every tribe member in exchange for help and prosperity. Since then, every new all-watcher had to agree to the pact, and the power of the tribe grew, as did the number of lost souls. It was like that until our leader, Ermac, came to power. She was a principled and proud elder who didn't want to bend a knee to hell, so she refused to sign the pact, and all kinds of calamities befell our tribe. The tribe was attacked by its neighbors, and the devil's instigation. Epidemics broke out, then our slaves rebelled. They came for, for their former masters in the dead of night. Our clutches of eggs were ravaged, our altars were desecrated, our warriors were slain in their burrows. The slaves paid us in full for our cruelty and arrogance. They hunted us, chasing us down the caves and mine shafts level by level. When we were le finally left alone, we had no idea where we were. All we, saw, all we saw around us was darkness, and lurking in that darkness were bloodthirsty and dangerous predators. After raising his voice dramatically, he suddenly stops. Then he adds with a teasing smile, I think this moment is enough of a cliffhanger to start there. Uh, cool. <laughs> I could still just attack him? Why would I do that? Um, how can he help me? With advice? Yeah, I already did that by that. Um... You mentioned you know a lot about demons. My humble knowledge is at your disposal. What is their main weakness? It's cold iron, obviously. Or holy damage. Uh, their, their cold iron bypasses their DR. I think holy damage is a weakness of theirs. Do you know about any, anything about the wounds in, inflicted by demons that first appear, then disappear, and later reappear again? Do I need to resort to platitudes such as the weirdest tricks can be expected from demons? Or can I just skip that part? I've never heard anything like you're describing, but new sorts of nasty stuff appear in the world wound every day. However, if we think about it some more, don't you think that this wound doesn't cause enough trouble to be something the demons did to you on purpose? When you're hit by the magic of the abyss, you know instantly that death is coming your way, and fast. Cool. Everything's clear to me now. Um, I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take off. I like this little guy. I'm, I'm gonna keep him around. Me and him are gonna be BFFs. BFFs for life. I can find my WASD. I've had a very long day at work, and my hands are still not working well. Oh, Darren. I like Krynuk. He seems like he's gonna be a tutorial-ish kind of guy. He's here to fill in the gaps if you aren't, like, familiar with, uh demons in TTRPGs. Uh, I want to go down to the underground hideout. But I don't think I can. Oh, that's a demon fight right there. Heaven's Edge? Oh, that's where Darren's at! <gasps> Alright. Oh, crap. What did I do? Did I just, like, get a whole army on my back? Destroying a lich's phylactery will not immediately kill it, but doing so is necessary to defeat the monster. Absolutely. Go for the phylactery. So I, that's why liches need to have a phylactery that's not something super, super obvious, like a, awesome, like a glowing evil gem. That would be like something like a possessed toothbrush or something. They'll never figure it out. Is that a succubus? Crap! We got a grown Nabasu and, and just two succubi. Oh, what are you? What the fuck are you? A Gibraleth. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are in a bad way. We stepped into the demon war zone right now, and that is not okay. Uh, he's got 115 hit points. The Succubi both have 67, I think. I don't know where the other... There she is. 67, 67. He's got 97. I think the Navas... The... the uh, not the Navasu. The, the Gibberleth is probably the more deadly thing. And just look at that beast. Uh, Lan. Big boy. Fire, fire, fire. We need to damage this thing down quick. Mr. Crap. Oh, no. Whoa! Did I just die? What is going on with the game? The game's like freaking out right now. What the f- Alright, something's going on with the game. I'm gonna check it out real quick. Alright, I don't know if that worked. I had a game downloading in the background, but this is not good. We are just- we just got wrecked. 
Like, I'm down. Uh, I'm, I'm not dead, but I'm down. He's knocked down. This thing is just destroying us. I'm going to go out of this and say hell no to that. I'm going to go back to the inconspicuous camp. How the hell did I just come into, like, a fight that immediately dropped me? That's crazy. It's probably because there was an army right there. I wasn't smart about that. But that's crazy. <laughs> that kobold comes up and he's like, I want to be your friend, I'm going to teach you cool things. And then like two, you're like, all right, I'll see you later. You take two steps off of his camp and just die. That'd <laughs> be the shortest friendship ever. All right. I think I've already... No, not land. God damn it. Everybody, thank you very much. Okay, so I've still gotten all the stuff. All right, cool. Well, now I'm not going to go that way right now, because, good God, that wrecked me. I would not have survived another round. That thing came up and just, like, triple batted me. I'm trying to remember Gibraleths. I'm trying to remember, like, the pictures from the books for them. Because that doesn't look like what I remember. Uh, no. I'm going to go to Army. The Army Arcana. Nameless Ruins, I've already... Oh, that's where I need to go. Yeah, all right. There's an army over there, though. It doesn't look too deadly. Eh. Please. There we go. Um, it doesn't look too deadly. They're probably really strong, though. But we can give it a try. If I can... Oh, I can't get over there. It's a mountain ridge. My bad. Yeah, there's a level 5 demon army over there, but there's a level 2 demon army over there. This, my team's only level one right now, which sucks. Recruits! Oh, cool. Um, I don't think I can uh, get her army increased anymore yet, though. Need to fight some more things. Um, where are all the armies at? Like, are there lower level armies that I can fight? Because that's a level four. That's a level four. There's a two and a three up here. Nope, I want to go up. Alright, they need to rest. I'm gonna have the Crusader Army 1 over here. So, oh wow, that's just them? Really? Oh, that's just five Rangers. I can recruit into them. <clears throat> um, Them to oh they have to start down in Dresden oh, or not Dresden Canabras crap so they need to go all the way up I want them to join up with the Rangers the demon army right there Crusaders there we go and these armies will become one I don't want her to recruit a new general oh they're four thousand. I have money though. Can I turn money into gems? <clears throat> um, um, can I? Can I do that? Let me see. Buy resources. Uh, so that's my gold, and I want gems. I'll go ahead and do that. Why not? I'm rich. All right, Crusader Army. I want to give them a general. It's not the one that I have. Create a new general. She was pretty good. I've played as her a couple times in mine. She's got some pretty cool abilities. I've never seen her. Uh, Iron Bregwild. She has defensive training one. All units in the army have a plus two to AC per level of the feet. Dispersal of the forces. All infantry, range, and cavalry units will have a plus one plus the general's level divided by six. Bonus to attack and saving throws for three rounds. Abilities of stratagem or attack formation. Which is also a stratagem. All allied uh, units gain a plus three to attack and a minus two penalty to speed. That's actually pretty good. That's that's kind of beastie. Hey, that's this is the image that I've used for my other character, my main, the one that I'm uh, was playing on the side. 
Master of Maneuver 1, increase maximum side remove 1 per unit per level of defeat. Awesome. He's got a dispersal of forces as well, and defensive formation, which is a plus 3, but minus 2 to attack. I would like him to have attack formation, but he's only got defensive, but maybe... Like, okay, they, they, these three are all fighting-looking ones. They have the same symbol there, which means I think he can learn abilities like what she has. So I'm going to recruit him. Sir Tector Silverhill. Absolutely. Boom. Awesome. Maybe now we have a decent army. I'm going to have them be a, a triangle formation down here. All right. Up. Oh. oh, crap. I have no more movement. Uh... I can recruit another tr uh, group of troops to his army, too, because he has a four now, which is good. Uh, so I'm actually going to rest, and then I'll have her army attack the demon army up here. And then this army will be the backup army. So where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, skip day. Boom. Have his army move up behind hers, and then have her army charge forth. Hopefully, we do not die. I should have seen what demons are in here before I clicked on them. That's fine, though. It's fine. We got this. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. There's a lot of them, but not too bad of them. Uh, fighters, footmen, and archers. The archers and the fighters seem like they might be bad. But I have my one ranged unit... I'm actually going to have her Scorching Ray. Yeah. Okay, and then the Archer, pick pick. Good job. <clears throat> now they only have Footmen, which I think are lesser. What? Why did your Archers wreck my Archers? That don't make sense. I'm going to have you uh, come hiding down this way away from those archers. Now you come hiding down this way away from those archers. Oh, they can still hit you. Alright, you. Uh, destroy those archers, please. Or at least do a lot of damage to them. Good job. Alright. Um, I'm gonna have you move here. I'm gonna have you move here. Crap. Um, lay on hands others. Target creature within range. They're dead, dead. They got one shotted, which is nightmarish. Um, it's a swift action, though, so I'll lay on hand self. And then I will. Smite evil. It's another swift action. And then attack. Wow, the footmen are actually kind of deadly. I'm gonna have you move this way. I'm gonna have. Her. Fire. 40 damage. Nice. I'm gonna have you come down here. He's probably gonna go for them there. Crap. Heal self. Thank you very much. Um, and then... Move. And then... Move. And burn. <coughs> Attack. Now he's fighting the ones that I wanted him to fight. What are their health at? What's their total health? They're not well, so I'm going to heal a little bit more, and then move. Crap, I forgot to use her ability. And this should do it. Yep, victory is ours. <clears throat> Hopefully she levels up. We lo oh, we got a ranger. We lost all those. Crap. That is a lot of losses. We lost a whole a whole troop of rangers. We defeated the the crew this this group of people though. I feel like they would have been hurt. They would have hurt us. So that's that's not good. <clears throat> Traitors who defected to the enemy side of Canavis are dead. Nerosian Nerosian expresses his deepest gratitude to the commander. I got 100 finance points. Awesome. What do the finance points do again? These are the finance points? Doesn't tell me what they are. No, I don't think those finance points is. I don't know what they are. Oh well. 
That's fine. Their army did good. They need to scoot back, though. We got a level 3 army up here. Oh, that's bad. That's all elementals right there. Where are the, like, armies that I can fight that are not, like, nightmarish compared to everything else that I'm doing? Because I feel like my armies aren't being... aren't gaining experience fast enough to be able to just run into level 5 in 3 fights. I feel like they should have multiple other armies for me to fight to bolster and increase my my team. But it seems like they had like maybe two that I was able to just wreck, and then the rest of them are all way too hard. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know, maybe the armies like respawn if I skip days? Like maybe lower level demons will show up? I don't know. Next week, I can... Oh, I got more. So cool, it goes up every day. Skip day. It does go up every day. Very nice. Um, skip day. I can now actually afford more clerics. But they aren't as good as rangers. I want rangers. Maybe I just need to, like, skip days until I can fully recruit stuff. Maybe that's how I get it done. I'm just supposed to be skipping days a lot. Alright, when you guys go up, so that you guys can join the other armies. <clears throat> I don't know how to upgrade... Can I upgrade troops that are here? I don't think I can. Maybe, let's see. I'll go to Army Arcana. They've been in a lot of fights. Information... Experience three. Hmm. Like, do how do I upgrade them though? That's the thing. Like, I would love to have armies with stronger troops, but it seems like it's just a bunch of people with very, very not pointy swords. Uh, Crusader army. I want you to come down. Oh, wrong way. There we go. I want you guys to have more of troops. So you guys got two melee root melee troops and two ranged ones. Alright. And then Army Arcana. Come down and you'll get your restock of rangers. Or er, archers. No, not you. There it is. Alright. Alright, maybe this is just what we gotta do. We gotta, like, basically skip days so that it does it. <clears throat> but that'll probably eventually... Each victory of the demons adds four days at the time the banner of victory stay green. It's still just, like, I, I feel like I'm super set up to lose all of these. Like, I don't think I can beat this. I might be able to, but I feel like those things are just gonna one-shot my little baby troops. Never know. Never know. Let's see. Let's go back to the players. I want to find that underground hideout. No, I do not want to go back here. I didn't need to go to the Nameless Ruins. I did go to the Nameless Ruins. Um, <clears throat> in an, an episode that got basically lost. And it m immediately ruined everything. It destroyed the party. I had a character permadeath, which hurt. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna rest here. Wow. And then I feel new power surging within me. Sometimes it really does scare me though. Can this really be a gift from Iomade? I believe Iomade is behaving exactly like cousin Galfrey. She's pushing me towards some supposedly vaunted position as a means of punishing me. <laughs> nice. Probably gonna rest up here and then call it right now. And then, next episode, we will go into the Nameless Ruins, which is a Nenio quest. So, I'm excited, but also scared. That is a bad demon army right there. Look at that guy's face! Oh, gugh. Oh well, we got this. We're, we got this. We're gonna make our way. We're gonna make our way. It's gonna be great. And until next time, everybody, 
Peace out.